All right, so I'm heading to China for Chinese New Year, and it should be a great time. Took some flights from San Francisco and landed there in the fog. It was pretty crazy. There's a plane taking off over us, and this is the view from the hotel. Went for a walk and checked out some artwork. And yeah, I mean, the hotel was great. <laughs> it was really nice. The first few days, the air was kind of foggy and bad. Um, but yeah, then I went to this temple called the Jing'an Temple. It's a historic one, and this is during Chinese New Year, so a lot of people were out doing festivities and rituals, and it was really cool to see. It was really cold here the first few days. It was very humid and below freezing. Yeah, and that was the first few days and shot some time lapses from the room. And then I went into the museum. This is the Chinese Natural History Museum in Shanghai. This lion had a funny look on its face. <laughs> but yeah, it's Chinese New Year, Year of the Dragon, so there are dragons everywhere. This is a Starbucks. Oh, and this is a restaurant. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and then on the weekend I went inland a little bit more to a water town called Tong Li. It's very historic. There was a lot of wealth here back then and we toured some cool mansions here. The architecture was really cool. Yeah, so I was just checking this out and then all of a sudden there was a, a performance. <laughs> then I went and took a boat through the canals. I tried to do a peace sign, but it looks like I was flipping off in my shadow, flipping off you, <laughs> but. Yeah. Those birds were strapped down, by the way. They weren't able to leave that perch, so that was crazy. This gondola is a menu. The water is about three meters there. The depth is three meters. Oh yeah, I caught the sunset on the roof of a building here. Life is in a hurry. Thank you. 
Maybe I set up a little time lapse and film the sun go down. And then I film the sun rise from the hotel again. This was one of the main days for Chinese New Year celebrations. A lot of people were out and about and I got tickets to this light show uh, where they had a bunch of statues and beautiful things set up like dragons and lanterns. It was pretty much chaos everywhere. There were just so many people. I thought the architecture here was really cool with the roofs and the traditional building designs. This dragon was insane. It was so big. Giant to a maggot, big boss status. Ain't gon' lie, I really wish they would like a cabin. I ain't do no front and get my money on the back end. Yesterday's price ain't today, now we taxing. Way out the field, ain't no way out for me. They always told me I'm the wave, like I'm way out. The purges, I get time if it was worth it. If you coming for my fam, then you know I take it personal. Say that you the goat, I asked around, I never heard of you. Rocky wrote ahead, and there's some things I had to hurt. Pick a side, pick your poison. Pick a side, pick your poison. Pick a side, pick your poison. This old man was just flying his kite, and it was really adorable. It's the smallest kite I've ever seen. And then these people came out with the biggest kite I've ever seen. <laughs> they literally needed like five people to launch it. And it was a dragon. Then the sun made its appearance above one of the buildings for just a few minutes. There's me walking out. <laughs> I like that. But anyways, someone else showed up with another giant dragon kite, and then this guy came with a huge banner kite and just gave a speech and was yelling a bunch. <laughs> I have no idea what he's saying, by the way. <laughs> this was the best sunrise because the air cleared up and it was just so beautiful. So the only one in this elevator and it's taking me all the way up to the top of the Shanghai Tower. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the fastest elevator in the world or something like that.
We will reach Observatory of Shanghai Tower. Pleasant tour. This is one of the highest observation decks in the world. I was actually inside of that building on the right in college, <laughs> but this view is much better because you're way higher up. That's apparently the longest suspension bridge in the world, is what somebody was saying. Anyways, that wraps up the trip to China for Chinese New Year, and stay tuned for more adventures.